What's up friends, this is Money and welcome to the new Armored Core 6 1.03 One update that changes freaking everything including the Zimmermann shotguns that finally get their nerve The handguns finally getting more ammo capacity. They have enough ammo for a full mission now. Can you believe it? We have coral weapons being nerfed homing missiles with better speed and guidance on their missiles Pretty much all bazookas got a better projectile speed and faster reload more ammo capacity for laser cannons Linear rifles get a faster charging up speed and a shorter cooldown after weapons that became kind of super universal like the songbird grenade cannons or stun needle launcher they got decreased attack and impact damage and much much more including frame parts and generators and all that yummy goodness we're gonna see some detailed changes and gameplay right now as well so let's jump into this starting with a new secret left hand tai yang shu explosive thrower that with this update becomes insane more rounds shorter reload and better range on this explosive throw that you do around yourself i tested this with charged and not charged attack the not charged charged attack is quick and very reliable if you're just close enough. The charged attack is pretty much worthless. You only really get it in if you manage to stun the enemy first and it doesn't really do that much more. So just use the regular version. Continuing on with the Zimmermann shotgun finally getting nerfed in pretty much every regard. AP, impact, accumulative and everything. Okay, so you're no longer gonna get in close, hit once or twice and immediately stun. It takes longer even when you use two Zimmermann shotguns, you don't immediately stun your opponent anymore. It takes a a few more shots the damage is lower everything is worse about them and, and also the Haldemann shotgun the other has a direct hit adjust nerf uh, but not just not as much as it's continuing on with our aperitif uh, siege missile launcher uh, increased reload time and decreased guidance here so uh, these weapons no longer hit as precise after you fire them uh, but they're still pretty dangerous if you ask me so by the way I'm only showing you the highlights and the most important changes here not every single one because that would take forever as said uh, the linear rifles now as you see here they charge up their charge shot much faster making it a more reliable option in PvP and also other encounters against bosses. The handguns now come with a lot higher ammo capacity that finally lasts throughout an entire mission making them an actual option. I liked them before but I often ran out of ammo before I even made it through the boss and that was not cool so that's fixed now. Then we have the detonating bazooka uh, that has a faster projectile speed and decreased reload time so more useful and harder to dodge. Then my favorite songbirds that got worse in pretty much everything except that their projectiles now explode at their effective range uh, and uh, have a chance at splashing even if they don't connect physically with the enemy but um, yeah so they are a little less effective now in terms of uh, stunning and damage done and all of that but um, they're still pretty good I think and it's still hard to dodge because you fire two shots rather than one here you can see how they explode after a while bam 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 and pretty much the same happened to the stun needle launcher as well. It has gotten a little worse at everything. Then the orbits have gotten a good buff. Uh, everything got better, the impact damage, the general damage. And uh, you see they're working pretty fine. They follow you around like the orbits do always and keep shooting the enemy. It's I guess a decent uh, th thing to have on you where it's like fire and forget. You press the button and then you can concentrate on your main left and right hand. The active homing miss missiles BML uh, something something they have been have been getting better guidance system now and faster projectile speed so they should be more effective at scoring hits <clears throat> even against moving targets as you can see here and the coral version of this weapon uh, has basically gotten a nerf to its charged attack you see the right shot was not charged left shot now comes in charged um, and there the second one the charged version has been gotten uh, weaker in terms of damage and accumulation of impact and so on so pretty much everything now we're doing a double charge I really like those sounds and the, the look of these weapons is pretty awesome the damage is still pretty high though it's a pretty good weapon a little off topic is the delivery boy because it hadn't really been changed but I just used it here for the first time and I was like holy smokes is that weapon awesome look the rockets are flying or the missiles are flying above it and dropping payloads every time they come around sometimes they fly into the ground and get destroyed but look how much damage this just done it did especially against the stationary targets crazy and then we have the laser cannons here that have gotten a higher ammo capacity so you can use them a few more times as to before where basically they were empty after <laughs> 
<laughs> a few shots. So yeah, let's enjoy a full-on maximum boom boy against the sea spider boss uh, with the new weapons and uh, see how they fare. Uh, because I think there's a lot of interesting uh, stuff that we can see here in a battle like this. In my playthrough, I fought this boss with double mini guns, which turned out to be rather easy. Um, but uh, I haven't tried a full-on explosive boom boy against it yet, which is awesome because you can keep it in a stun lock pretty much indefinitely. Um, if you time the shots well, that is. Um, something I didn't do here very well because it just tested this for the first time, but still it works really well to get this guy stunned all the freaking time. And then even using the assault armor in his face and everything, man. This is cool. And every time you interrupt his attacks, if he's gonna cast a high, high like energy beam at you, pam pam stunned and his uh, attack is, are interrupted. The only thing you can't stop or interrupt is when he's flying up into the air and prepares his basically flying phase. Um, like Onyxia in World of Warcraft. Then you can't really uh, interrupt that. You have to wait it out and, uh, yeah, wait a little while. And that's what we're gonna do here. It's happening now, I think. Yep, that's the moment you see there's no more filling up on the stun meter. And that's where I just go up myself, also with the hovering tetrapods. And by the way, the tetrapods have gotten less AP, so less uh, tankiness. Um, they have been apparently a little too universal in that. Uh, in PvP, my favorite would still be something fast and nimble. Uh, but with rocket builds, uh, the tetrapods were awesome. And they're still awesome now, probably even more so maybe because, remember, heavy, uh, better guidance and speed on some of the homing missiles. So we're gonna test this and we're gonna do a lot of PvP coming forward now. Also, I just I will just release in the next video the my ending to my Armored Core first playthrough and then we're gonna look at all the endings uh, that we have available. We're gonna check out all the coral weapons. So yeah, ladies and gents, hopefully you had a fun time watching this video. I wish um, um, you a good day and test out these new weapons. It's awesome and uh, I'm glad the Simmermans are no longer as dominant because these things have really kind of killed PvP a little bit. Because uh, they just overperformed so drastically. Uh, but as you see here, Big Boom Boy against Sea Spider, pretty easy. <laughs> so yeah, catch you in the next video. Manny signing off and have a good one. Bye-bye.